Good morning, everybody. Um, it is, I think, uh, 1040 uh, Eastern Standard Time uh, now. And um, I wanted to get on and um, talk to uh, you real quickly. Um, I really want to uh, solicit your prayers. Um, usually, um, with certain matters and things of that nature, um, I've always been a transparent person, but I've always been a person that, uh, even though I want my privacy, I realized in life, um, being a public figure, being a public person, um, I've never always received that. So I try to be open. I try to be honest. I try to always share uh, where I am. And the reason why I do that is because I like people to uh, learn uh, always from my uh, victories, uh, which is my, my, my wins, but I also like people uh, to learn from my failures. And um, my heart is heavy, y'all. And um, hey, hey, Ricardo, hey, Michelle, hey, Jimmy, hey, Sister Keisha, hey, daughter, how you doing? Um, uh, I'm, I'm here, and um, y'all, I'm, I'm vacillating, I'm, I'm at a place where um, I'm confused, I'm, I'm trying to breathe, I am exhaling, um, Elder Randy, how are you? Uh, God bless you. Uh, Jermaine, how are you? Bless y'all, bless y'all, thank y'all so much uh, for being on here with me. And um, I think I am at the most pivotal place in my life right now, Rosini. Um, I'm at the most um, difficult juncture. Um, Rod, hey, my son, I'm calling you. Hey, I see my brother McLeod, Pastor McLeod on here. I'm going to give you a call right after this, man of God. Um, but at this moment, y'all, I, I really, uh, Kayla, I'm really asking people for prayer um, more than ever, more than any time before. I think in my life right now, I'm at the most difficult place. I'm trying to navigate through um, emotional scars. I'm trying to deal with wounds. Uh, Prophet Small, I love you, uh, man of God. I want. I got to call you right after this too because I need to speak with you. Uh, I'm trying to deal with traumas. I'm trying to deal with mental uh, breaks, um, family uh, dynamics, and um, and I'm really, really, it, it's really challenging. And a lot of times, uh, people uh, won't understand the challenges. Uh, what happens when uh, who is supporting others needs support themselves? What happens when Moses needs an Aaron in the earth to hold their hands up? And y'all, again, I'm in the most uh, difficult time right now uh, because um, clearly um, those of you that have been supporting has followed me in ministry. And I thank you. I honor you for that. I honor you for, for those of you that have been in my inbox and just encouraging me privately. I, I honor you for that. I, I see evangelists on here. Um, uh, I love you. I love you to life. That's my big sister all the way from San Diego. Loving the word of God in her mouth. I thank God for everybody that has been supporting for me and my family. Um, Y'all did understand a couple, few months ago, um, I, I had a public, a public scandal. I had a moral failure and um, I, I allowed uh, my frailties to allow me to sin. And I, I made sure that I apologized for that publicly. Why? Because I cared about the souls. I didn't want people falling and things be based off of me. I know that people who esteem me, uh, people that love me, um, and I, that's why I made sure I uh, apologized publicly. You would, you never heard me um, cast the blame on anybody, saying, "Hey, this is why, this is why." No, it's it, it's just me. Because uh, so then now I'm at a place where. Going through that, y'all, um, I got married to 
uh, to my wonderful wife. I got married to her um, after, hey, hey, my rich daughter. Um, I got married to her after, again, a very public uh, scandal. Me and her was going through because I went through a divorce. And then why is, he, why is this man, why did he get married so quickly? And, you know, were they in love? Did he heal? Did she heal? You know, he'll be going on the second uh, marriage. She's going on her third marriage. What's going on? And the reality is when you go through, I'm talking about a myriad, just an amalgam of things and you're saved. Um, there's not always just a clear way of knowing how to deal with it. And I'm just telling y'all just from my perspective, my perspective is I, you know, when you've got saints and leaders that will more kill you uh, than want to esteem and help, um, you know, it's not really a playbook of how to deal with that. So me and her had to try to navigate a lot of things um, isolated. Um, there's some times where we felt like we just didn't have anybody. And um, we're wondering who to speak to. Um, you're, you start noticing that even certain leaders would come and, and um, yeah, you got people that you start saying, hey, do they, do they have an ulterior motive? Why do they, why do they want to speak to me? Why do they care? Um, you know, so we, we, we've had that either which way. Um, why is my heart heavy today? Um, why am I where I am right now? And it seems like I'm rambling and it, please forgive me y'all. I'm just trying to process. I, I don't know how to really process this. Um, I am, a, I'm at a place where my, um, after we just had this, um, blow up and, and the world got involved, um, we were trying to just focus on us and rebuilding our family. And I'm going to just be honest. It's a roller coaster, y'all. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster because one time we love each other to life. So we love each other. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I think my thing froze for a second. Yeah, so we, we've been going through this roller coaster of... Um, you know, what do we do? Um, you know, hey, we need to speak to somebody. This is a third. And um, one day she's the best wife. Another day I'm the best husband. Another day I can't stand her. Another day she can't stand me. And um, it's, 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 it, it's so draining. Right now my heart is heavy. My heart hurts. Uh, I told y'all, um, forgive me for rambling because I need your prayers. Why do I need your prayers? Um, recently, me and my wife, um, me and Gina was, we were, we were um, in a disagreement. And then I'm saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to file for, for divorce. I'm, I can't take this no more. I need my peace. And um, then she's crying and. She's like, no, you, you can't get no divorce. Uh, and then, um, because, you know, I'll have, we both, again, we both have gotten to the place of saying, hey, I'm going to get a divorce. You're going to get a divorce. And uh, we're trying to fight through it. We're trying to make sure we guard our ears so that we don't listen to everybody's voices. Um, but my heart is heavy because, you know, this morning, um, I was served with some papers, I guess, uh, as I go say I want to divorce some days, she wants to divorce some days. Um, she's now at the place of saying, hey, um, I want a divorce. Um, so uh, I have papers in hand. Um, and the only reason why I'm sharing this, I know there's people going to say, hey, you don't have to talk about getting a divorce. But I'm just telling you through my experience, because once papers have been filed, um, it, it can, anybody can look it up, become public record. And, um, just based off of my experience, um, I have been attacked by so many people, um, 
when something uh, was public, whether it be arrest records, whether anything. Um, so because uh, divorce papers have actually been filed, um, all I can say is pray for us. All I can say is pray for us. I'm not in no way, shape, or form am I uh, against my wife. Uh, I want y'all to keep supporting her. Um, I want y'all to keep uh, loving on her. Um, I, I'm grateful for all the memories. I'm grateful for everything um, that um, God has allowed me to experience. I know that um, I know that uh, I believe that uh, I absolutely married her uh, because I was absolutely in love with her. Um, so this is why you don't you're not going to get um, you're not going to get me attacking or saying anything wrong or bad concerning her. I, I'm not going to you're just not going to get it uh, from me, y'all. All I'm saying is I'll ask you to pray for us. I'm asking you to pray for us. Um, it, it gets overwhelming. It's absolutely overwhelming. And uh, maybe this is a time right now. Um, I don't know if this be God's divine providence. I don't know if we're going to see the divorce through. I don't know if God's going, if we're going to stop it. I don't want to say God stops it because God didn't go and file it. You see what I'm saying? God didn't file it for a divorce. Um, it's actually, you know, contrary to his word. But maybe this is just a time that I, um, right now um, I'm just focusing on being really a father. I'm focusing on being a father. Um, I love God. I love what God has been doing recently um, for both of us, for me and my wife. Um, this is not changing the fact that I am still a part of what I am a part of. Um, I have because I have different things going on with me from my PTSD and things of that nature. I'm still a part of uh, those programs and things because I still care about my mental health um, to be good for my children. And um, I want my wife to be absolutely good um, for for my older girls. It's a, <laughs> It's hard because I knew I, God, I'm just telling you it, it, it'll be difficult for me to say for her to focus on her girls and I'm focusing on mine because I, I just don't look at it you know like that it, it's so difficult to even utter that but um, right now again y'all I'm not I didn't I just didn't want um, to be attacked again on blogs I didn't want to be attacked again um, out here um, so what I did was I just said hey y'all y'all pray for me uh, again this you're not going to get a bunch of I, I don't know um, you're not going to get a bunch of attacks from me uh, concerning my wife uh, like I tell y'all um, not at all I, I, I thank God for um, what God has given me um, I didn't give up at all I didn't give up um, but the reality is this, um, uh, you know, my heart is heavy and, um, Hey woman of God, I absolutely, I agree. You know, a lot of people relationships, I, we, we absolutely backed up and started doing, uh, keeping our relationship more off of social media, out of the limelight of people and started trying to heal together. Um, and just be separate as far as our, you know, so no, you know, we kept our engagements and how our life has been uh, more private. Um, but it's, you know, social media does play a part. Um, but I just believe healing um, has to happen. Healing has to happen. So, you know, I ask um, everybody that's on here, I mean, you all, I apostolize. Um, this is this is this is difficult. This is difficult to navigate through. Um, like I said, I just don't want to be attacked. I don't want my wife being attacked. I don't want, you know, when things seem to fail 
or when people begin to navigate, you'll have people saying, I told you so, I know this was this, and I know this was that. But the reality is, we're just human. We're just people. We've got real feelings. We've got real emotions. We just so happen that God just so happened to use us, but we've got real things. And, um, you know, because of those, those things, Again, all I'm saying is, I received these papers. Um, this is this is crazy, y'all. I got papers in hand. I got papers in hand. Uh, these are these are my divorce papers. Um, I know. I think it's easier for us to talk about it to each other, like we talk trash. Hey, I'm gonna divorce you. You gonna divorce me? Um, but. I got nothing, 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 nothing negative to say. Um, I pray it can go another way. Um, and I still believe God. That's why I just said I ask y'all to pray. Because I believe God. Um, only reason why I'm sharing this. Um, uh, the reason why I'm sharing this is because, y'all, uh, when something is filed publicly, it becomes, um, you know, it becomes public record. Either which way, um, I guess I got some people already on here. You see, there's, I got some folks that are mad on here. Got some folks laughing on here. Uh, well, God bless y'all as well. Um, those of you that are mad, are sad, I don't know. But God bless y'all.